you describe songs or you describe artists in ways where people can understand them through images, through like visual cognition, then they can get it. I think the image supplies the music with more meaning and more body. It's obviously more relatable to people. You know, they are more attached to something that they can see. Music and art has always been together, and people always say it's been together. But when I try to describe this concept, I say, you know, there's blogs that feature music, art, film, like if you go in the categories, music or film, but it's, they're all separated. When people try to listen to something, it's another sense. So we're trying to kind of balance out the playing field and bring more um, of an attention to sounds to, to our attention to visuals. And how we're gonna do that, we basically take the elements of the visuals and bring, you know, bring the sounds over to them, basically. You know, we share these elements of visuals. How can we take the inspirations people get from seeing something or imagining something, how can we relate that to a sonic story? There was one moment where one of my favorite artists, James Blake, I saw a picture of him just sitting on a couch, um, and there's this huge mural behind him of like parrots and something, and, and there was just a moment that clicked where I said, you know, what if he was writing his song based off strictly of the elements of that mural and nothing else? And that just kind of got me thinking of, you know, shared elements of visuals and music, how it's all cyclical. We uh, founded a muralist, Edgardo Sanchez, from Hadley, Massachusetts, to, to do uh, murals for three boards, and they were going to be inspired directly by a certain band's music. But because there were three boards, we talked about having the bands be represented visually from their past, their present, and their future. And then we would have a find a band to take those visuals and do the same thing that I talked about with James Blake. They'd sit down and look at this mural, and they'd have to make a song based just off the visuals, nothing else. So they don't even know it was really inspired by themselves. So it was all this whole unknown process that people were being inspired by themselves, and they don't even know it. The experiment starts with music inspired by art. So we provided Gardo with three mural boards, um, which he would create artwork inspired by Delicacy's music. To make this mural, I started by listening to uh, Delicacy's first album, Wonder Vision. Um, I was listening to it, it sounded, me, it sounded to me like really tribal, really like ancient. And, and the idea that, not really ancient, because it's like modern way of making music, but the idea that you based the murals on was past, present, and future. So I, I started looking at it as like a past kind of music. Well, first I started with the human face, because I thought that that would represent like the past the most of, in art and art history. So I used like an ancient man or to represent human in general, not just man or woman. And I guess in my background also, I'm, faces are really a huge part of the art that I make. If you look at any of my past art or any of the art that I make, I incorporate a lot of the face into it. So the next step is music inspired by art. We had dropped off Gardo's murals at the Lickety Studio and they basically sat around and talked about it and dissected the images uh, for about a half hour before they even started playing, which I thought was the most phenomenal thing to witness. We chose Delicate Steve uh, mainly because of the instrumental quality of the music. So they don't have any lyrics that necessarily dictate a storyline. Uh, so when people listen to it, they can create their own story. I think how we initially interpret stuff, at least right now, is uh, like instrumentally. It's just a different way of doing it than making a song based on lyrics. You know, just the music to convey the, like, what you want to say. So I wanted to create an atmosphere for Delicate Steve um, in which they were extracted from their normal uh, creative inspiration. So they were thinking about making music in different ways than they normally would. Usually you're, you hear something or you 
are learning a song and you get inspired and then you make a song from that. So this, we just happened to be, big painting was brought into our room instead of us just like happening upon something. It can be maybe more challenging to, to make something based on a certain thing and really try to connect with that. So now that we've kind of documented this entire uh, process of creating art and creating music inspired by each other, the best part is having this live experience where people from the outside can come in and feel the music and see the art and kind of engage in this audiovisual experience from one night under one roof. And I'm really, really excited to see how it all pans out. Hands out. I think we got it. That's, 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 that's great. great. <laughs>